was on court, uh, in the backcourt actually, you know, <coughs> there wasn't enough space, it was easy to trap, so we just tried to space it out. Um, so it helped you, you know, big, don't, you know, freak out with the ball in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I think they would do fine with that. Um, they have the ball in their hands a lot in the offense, so I think they should be a little bit more comfortable yeah, than right. the others. What have you seen from uh, Louisville's defense uh, they're fast, they're long, um, and they're smart defensively. Uh, they try to force you into things, and then they try to force you into stuff they want to, they want you to do. And I think they do it well. You're a lengthy team, but it's kind of maybe like a little bit more like South Carolina. Uh, a little bit. I think they might be a little bit longer. Um, South Carolina wasn't. It wasn't as long as Louisville, but their their defensive principles may be a little bit different also. <laughs> what do you see from uh, their big guys? They have a bunch of big guys. Uh, is that something you guys got to try to focus on, kind of getting inside to finish over those guys? or? Uh, we haven't really talked about offense. I think it's more of a defensive strategy game. Uh, when we do uh, force them to take and make uh, or miss bad shots or good shots, uh, we have to box out. Uh, everybody has to take the role of getting your men off the boards <coughs> and boxing out. What stuck out on the film from Louisville? Uh, their length, athleticism. Uh, they have great, ball, great guards. And uh, they play tough. They play hard until the end. What did you guys do last night? To kind of get some rest and enjoy the evening? Do anything in the Yeah, uh, we just enjoyed the evening. Went out to dinner, uh, watched a little bit of film. But nothing too stressful. We just try to relax and get ready for today. You feel like you're kind of more familiar with this now that you've been to Indy a couple times and last year in the Big Ten and stuff like that. Does that help things at all, especially with the fans here? Yeah, uh, I think it helps a lot, um, especially with the fans. A lot more fans will come because it's closer. And also get familiar with the arena. Um, we played here last year, so it's, the Rams are a little bit familiar in the background and stuff like that. What's the biggest challenge on Monday turnaround, especially when you got to face it in the uh, just the rest and, and prepping for uh, the other team. Um, you don't have a week or like a couple of days to look at them. You just have that one day and kind of got to focus. What, uh, what's the biggest thing you've seen on film with this team? What's the biggest challenge they present? Uh, they're great guards. They're athletic and long. And uh, they play great defense. So and they have a great press. So it'd be tough to break that, but I think if we prepare the right way, we can. You guys aren't expecting the same amount of open, wide open looks like you did yesterday. This team really gives out way more than yeah, uh, I think we'll get some open looks. Um, we'll probably have to work a little bit harder than maybe yesterday. Um, but I think we just have to pick and choose our spots when we want to take this. Did you hear some of the stuff the team said about you guys? Tough as second round opponents looked like the Warriors yesterday. Yeah, I heard a little bit of it, but I don't try to pay attention to the media, things like that. And uh, we just got to stay focused. You can't listen to the media too much. You like that respect, though? I mean, that's pretty high praise. Him saying you guys are the Golden State Warriors in college basketball. Yeah, I mean, it's great to hear that and um, see that he respects us as much as he does. But uh, you kind of just got to block out the noise and stay focused on our game plan and you know, what we need to do. What were the coaches up? I'm sure you have fans that you know, back for that performance yesterday. What were the coaches pushing you guys about it? Getting on your post about it? Uh, probably giving up uh, 91 points. Uh, I don't think anybody wants to give up 91 points, especially not in the NCAA tournament. Um, I mean, I don't think, like, how often you can give up 91 points and still win. And uh, we just got to fix that. What do you think is the biggest difference between the team now and the way you guys were at the beginning of the year? Uh, I think we've been playing harder on both set, both ends of the floor, not just offense. I think we've been playing to a defensive mindset. Uh, may not have shown that yesterday in the game, but I think in other games before that, we've shown that more of a defensive team and get stops and get out into transition and running. Yeah, Coach Brock kind of